Well, hello there, fellow traders. Um, thank you for visiting uh, the Impatient Trader blog. Um, like as I promised many of you guys, this is going to be video I was going to put out this weekend. Uh, my first video ever, and as you can tell, I, I'm pretty sucky at this kind of stuff. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, I'll be able to help a lot of people out with this video. And hopefully, if I under finally get this right, I'll be able to do a lot more in the next few days. And uh, Hopefully, just put out a lot of you know just good educational stuff over the next few days. Anyway, uh, just let, let's get to uh, let's get to the stuff right away. Um, uh, as you can see here, I put up some cute little pictures of some people with the shocked faces, because that's what I think is going to happen over the next uh, few days, over the next week or two. I think a lot of people are going to be caught off guard by what's going to happen in the markets. I mean, I really think that we're gonna we're gonna be seeing new lows here over the next week or two we'll be seeing we'll be at least revisiting the old lows that we that we set last week um anyway let's get let's get to the charts and i'll tell you guys exactly what's on my mind here uh here's the 30 minute charts of uh the inverse short funds um on the indices uh first chart here the one of the vixen which is the vxn which is the the volatility index for the nasdaq and you can see here it's just a beautiful looking bullish pattern you know when this thing gets bullish it means in general that you have more volatility and you have you tend to have the, the downward swing on in prices on the index on the indices especially the nasdaq and you can see here just a nice series of higher lows here and you can see here this is uh, setting up in a nice uh, ascending triangle usually these kind of formations they usually uh break out in the pre in the pre in the prevailing trend so you can see here we had higher prices cons big consolidation this consolidation is pretty big so which tells me that when we do break out we're going to have a huge acceleration move to the upside on this pattern i think 100 is an easy first target i think we can get to 100 easily on this on based looking at this pattern here so I'll be looking for that definitely um, expect huge swings to the downside especially on the Nasdaq um, I mean you can I mean on on the Dow you can have, you can see at least 1000 point range swings from uh, from highs to lows probably in the next week or two um, they, you know if if you believe this pattern to be to be correct which I, I personally th I personally think I should resolve higher um, anyway here you can see uh, the SD this is the SDS which is the pro shares ultra short S&P 500 and you can see here just a beautiful consolidation you have a nice uptrend here um, just this is a, this is a 60 minute chart you can see here um, just a nice looking symmetrical triangle so upside breakout looks very likely next few days Here's the DXD, which is the ultra, ultra short uh, Dow 30 index. You can see here, similar story here. You know, just a beautiful looking consolidation on the 60 minute chart. You know, maybe one more pullback it could be in order here in the, in the 80, 75, 80 range would be very nice. Would be would be lucky to see it here. Just to get a nice entry next to near support here with one more pullback in the morning maybe. And then the upside breakout looks highly likely here. Um, here, same thing. Uh, the, this is the SKF, which is an index that I trade a lot. Uh, people who people who follow me on Wall Street, uh, this is an index that I love trading. Um, this is a 30-minute chart of this pattern, and you can see here uh, just a beautiful-looking consolidation. Maybe one more pullback here in the 130, 120 area would be fabulous. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll get it, but I'm hoping that we do in the morning, maybe Monday morning, maybe Tuesday, and then looks like an upside breakout, you know, out of this pattern looks very, very likely. So definitely going to keep an eye on this pattern next few days. Um, one more chart here. This is the daily chart of the S&P 500, and you can see what's going on here. You can see, uh, you, you know, I've been in a downtrend pretty much the whole year. And you can see here there was an acceleration of the downtrend once it broke 1150, 1100. You can see just a waterfall decline here, big red bars, accelerating volume that culminated into a into a climax selling action here about a week ago. And then we had that huge uh, one-day rally, one-day wonder rally, I like to call them one-day wonders, 
short squeeze very very typical in a bear market classic just aggressive short squeezing on low volume typical typical bear market action and then you had a you had a big gap and then came tumbling down looks like right now to me this looks like a bear flag formation here next few days this is going to be very very telling you know a lot of people calling for a double bottom and i can see why you had a low here nice candlestick here rally and then you had a double bottom here and double you know the testing of the lows here but then once again volume you know doesn't look that great and uh, you know i just have a feeling this this is going to turn into a bear bear flag you know next week next few days for sure you know it looks uh, based on what i'm seeing right now um anyway this is a chart definitely going to keep uh, I'll, I'll be updating with you guys over the next few days anyway this is my first video guys hopefully you enjoyed it uh there'll be a lot more coming and hopefully i'll uh, have a lot more good information coming your way in the next few days all right guys best of luck trading on monday good luck